Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, over the last roughly 30 to 45 minutes, we continue to see a weakening trend of storms that were crossing central Massachusetts. They had a history of uh, damaging wind, knocking down power poles and trees and hail out across central Mass. What's left of that once impressive line is just to our north and west right now. Still some strong thunderstorms and downpours, but they continue to weaken. And bottom line, the risk of any widespread severe weather at this point uh, continues to be very low. And actually, we were really only concerned about the northwest corner of the state. We'll continue to watch that closely. But what we can do in the Doppler radar is almost take like a CAT scan or a 3D uh, kind of a cross section of the storms and by looking at them in three dimensions uh, we get a better idea as far as their potential to produce uh, severe weather and things like that. Like getting real close here and one of the things that we look for when you know tracking these storms is how far up into the atmosphere they extend. You get a wealth of information. Now at one point uh, these storms were towering close to 30, 35,000 feet. We've noticed the height of the core of these storms, uh, the height has continued to lessen. It's not quite as tall and that's a good, a good sign. It shows that the storms, while still strong, are weakening. Now, here's the northwest corner of the state. Uh, the storms are generally moving in this direction. So, northwest Rhode Island, northeast Connecticut, southern Worcester County, uh, Webster, uh, Franklin, Bellingham, Mass, may see a strong thunderstorm. But as far as anything widespread and severe across the entire area, I don't see that. So, again, the concentration is mainly uh, north and west of Providence. So, the threat tracker through at least the next, say, roughly an hour uh, in the medium category. Uh, the severe thunderstorm watch, the area shaded in yellow, actually expires uh, very shortly. Notice how most of, the, of our viewing area not under a watch. And the good news, these storms continue to diminish, at least in intensity. We've noticed on our live lightning tracker, not as many lightning strikes. Another indication uh, that the uh, storms have continued to weaken. In Providence, it's uh, hazy and dry. Uh, dry meaning no rain, but humid temperature at 76. Southwest breezes at 14, keeping the coastline a lot cooler. In fact, you can see temperatures along the coast in the 60s, inland areas in the mid-70s, and the bright white area of clouds indicating where some of the showers and thunderstorms are located. It's all associated with an approaching cold front. Once the front sweeps through, later on this evening, we're back to essentially quiet weather. The next couple of days is actually uh, looking pretty good. Let me step you through it hour by hour, starting off this evening at about 7 o'clock. And what's left of that activity really starts to diminish. This is around 7, 8 o'clock in the evening, and then boop, it's gone. Skies are cleared out by 11 o'clock, and then the remainder of the evening hours and overnight look fine, and that sets up for some uh, decent weather both uh, Friday and Saturday. Seven-day futurecast shows as well some great summer days here, both Friday and Saturday, upper 70s to around 80 with sunshine. Sunday, much needed rain. I mean, it'd be great if it didn't happen on a weekend, but it still looks like Sunday is a wet, perhaps up to a half inch of rain and cool with a temperature at around 70. Northwest Rhode Island is still under the uh, potential for some strong thunderstorms, but the severity has really come down. So good news there. All right, Tony, thanks.